Happy Women's History Month! Today we thought we'd celebrate by sharing a few special pages from I Love My Whole Black Biracial Family, The Coloring Book, and let you know about a few special women in women's history who helped inspire those pages. Let's get started. Now, one of the most popular sections of this coloring book are the rancher sections, the black cowboy and the black cowgirl. And here she is. Awesome. When Deshaun was creating these pages, he was inspired by two main sources. One was the classic movie Nope by Jordan Peele, and the other was the county of Pembroke County, Illinois. Pembroke County is an awesome, historic black farming community. At the height of the cowboy in America, one in four cowboys was black, and the black cowboys loved riding through Pembroke County, Illinois and buying feed for their horses. And you can still find a lot of that great black cowboy culture in Pembroke County today. And if you're in Pembroke County, you might be at a Latin Rodeo. In fact, if you've been to any rodeo recently, you've probably been to a Latin Rodeo. They're the best in the business. They were founded by Thurl Latin, and he handed it down to Mike Latin, his son. His daughter, Tracy Latin, followed in her father's footsteps, first as a teacher, and then as a rodeo star. It's no surprise. Tracy Letty was trick riding horses when she was just eight years old. And in fact, in as recently as 2004, she was winning barrel races in under 17 seconds. Another special location in this coloring book is that of Black Pullman in Chicago, Illinois. The neighborhood of Black Pullman in Chicago is very special to Deshaun and I because Deshaun's granddaddy and grandma lived in Pullman. So we have a lot of great memories of wonderful holidays spent at Granddaddy's house throughout the years. But Pullman's not just important to Deshaun and I. It's named for the Pullman Railroad and the black Pullman porters who lived there. Here's a scene set in Pullman. Looks fantastic. Of course in America we know that a lot of the things we take for granted, like holidays, weekends, days offs, and minimum wage, is all due to the labor movement. And one of the most important parts of the labor movement in America was that of the black men of the Pullman Porters Association. The white male who owned the railroad was not for the labor movement. And so he would send white thugs to try and steal the union dues and try to prevent the black men from unionizing and sharing literature amongst themselves. But racism and sexism being what it was, they were not looking at the wives. Rosina Tucker was the wife of a black Pullman porter, and she would pay social calls on her fellow wives. And when she would go on these visits, she would just happen to bring her purse. And her purse would just happen to contain some of the literature needed to share amongst the Pullman porters. And when she left, her purse would just happen to contain some of the union dues that she would bring back to A. Philip Randolph. Her bravery and ingenuity helped ensure the success of one of the most important labor movements in our country's history. When we created I Love My Whole Black Biracial Family, The Coloring Book, it was important to us that black and biracial children see their own lives reflected in it, whether they lived in the city, the country, or the suburbs. So to reflect the suburbs, we chose Glen Ellen, Illinois. Now you may be thinking that Glen Ellen, Illinois doesn't have much rich history or much black history, but in fact, Glen Ellen was founded by black and white Union soldiers and abolitionists. So quiet thoughts kept. Glen Ellen history is black history. Here's a page set in Glen Ellen. And one of the most important people to come from Glen Ellen, Illinois is Catherine Dunham. Catherine Dunham was a dancer, choreographer, anthropologist, civil rights activist, and businesswoman. She created the Dunham Method, which combines African, Caribbean, and European styles of dance in a manner that is still used by most modern dance today. She also founded a dance school with alumni including Eartha Kitt, Gregory Peck, and Sidney Poitier. She also innovated new ideological approaches to anthropology. If you want to see Catherine Dunham dance, check out the movie Stormy Weather. It's an amazing black musical, and look, you're going to see dance moves that you're never ever going to see ever again anywhere else. It's a great movie and if you haven't seen it you'll love it and if you have seen it see it again because then you can look and say hey there's Katherine Dunham. 
I hope each and every one of you is having an absolutely amazing Women's History Month. Let's celebrate, let's innovate, and let's all make some women's history together. Take a 